Hey friends, it's Sonia. I hope your day is going awesome. It is a beautiful Sunday in these parts. Can you see that gorgeous sunshine out there? My plants over there in this vicinity are loving it. I am loving it. And I feel like the um, February of this month if you've heard of the February blues, I feel like I definitely was affected by the February blues this year. And I am so glad that we are into March. Yesterday was the first day of spring and hello, Mrs. Sunshine is here doing her beautiful thing. Yeah, I, I need my sunshine. I need my vitamin D in order to survive. I just do. So it has been a crazy kind of week uh, around these parts, got lots done, but it's just been one of those weeks where I really feel like every single day it was like okay what's it gonna be today do you ever have one of those what feels like a week you know sometimes the th the big the things that are not so good they all add up in our mind right like we're able to keep track of all the bad things but not all the good things I guess is what I'm trying to say so it's really not a bad week but this this week just felt like there was like every single day there was just something and um, yeah things that were out of my control but yet you know for a moment you're caught up in whatever is going down and it affects you. And so one of the things that I really try hard to do is not let things around me um, bring me down or to affect me negatively. Yes, it might obviously, but not to stay there, but to grow. And I believe that with everything that happens, there's always a lesson that you can take from it. So to grow, yeah, to look back, something happened. And I'm talking about just the things like sometimes you come in contact with people or situations that you can't control because everybody lives life a different way. Everybody, um, you know, talks to other people a certain way, would do certain things a certain way. Not everybody would do and behave the way that you would behave in a situation, right? And so sometimes it's easy to get sucked into whatever else somebody else has got going on when really you just want to be over here living your, your happy life focused on all the good. So today I am just looking back at the week. I am going to enjoy a journal session. I've actually started it already. So I'm just here picking the wonderful glue off my fingers at this point. I'll bring you guys over to my workstation in just a second. Um, but yeah, this week has been a good week though. Um, you know, the journal is a great place just to process and to like close out the week, which is really, I thought maybe I could talk to you guys about that today. But Focusing on the good, um, I did launch three of my art prints this week and they took off so well. These were the three that I, did you see it, that I released? Lots of flowers, so I call the flowers a uh, bunch of happiness. Get it, bunch flowers, bunch of happiness. And she turned her cans into cans because I can be I believe that you can do whatever you set your mind to. Even if you're having a bad day, you can switch it to a good, right? Because it's all up here. You control it all. So I like those positive good reminders. How about um, how about you guys? And then the other one that I did was today only happens once. It does. So let's make it a good one. My last batch of my Moonchild prints also uh, sold out that I had done. So I just had a whole bunch more uh, printed off. One of the things that I've upgraded, you know, we grow as we go, right? So one of the things that I've just done, I'm gonna share with you guys, because this might also give you an idea. I'm a girl that loves to get things on a budget. So in the clearance section of Wally World, I found these document holders and they're quite nice. And so now I've upgraded as well, not only with some beautiful plastic filing systems, right, that I showed you in the last vlog, but these I thought are gorgeous. So I'm going to take a sample of the print that I have inside. I've already started doing this. I'll share with you guys what I mean. And now what I do is I tape on, on the outside right here, and a sample of the print that's inside. And then when you guys order, it's just so nice and easy for me to be able to reach in here and then grab the print that I need, right? So anyway, pretty happy with that. <laughs> It's those little things that make you happy. So I just got a batch of my Moonchild print sand and now I'm about to do the same with that.
So today I'm gonna to do some art in my journal. I've got a couple different journals going. I pick up a journal like an old friend. It always feels good when I pick it up. And it doesn't matter, no, doesn't matter where you start, whether it's at the end of your book, any page, there are no rules. It's very safe in here. You can write whatever you want. Right now, I am doing a little session to myself. I wrote down, let it go. It doesn't matter in the long run. Stick to the light, take the lesson, you know, leave the rest behind. Because like I say, there can be things that hurt you. There can be things that come up in your life that are just hard to get through. Um, you, know, you know, you can't control everything or everyone or the situation, right? So you just kind of got to take from it. And like I always say, we are the sum of all the experiences that we've ever had. So I like to journal about my experiences. Um, I'm not somebody who writes a whole lot of details in my journal. So if you're somebody that's like, oh, I want my privacy. I really feel weird putting it all out there. You can if you want. This is my art journal. So I, when even though I, I've not written anything in detail on this page, it's just more or less the thought of, protecting your peace and not letting things consume you. So I am processing this week here in my page and I am now putting a layer of just light paint over the words. The words are still gonna be there as part of my picture today, but part of the beautiful thing about a journal is that you're processing your thoughts as you go. You're writing to yourself. It's up to you if you let the words or how much of the words you wanna see come through. Part of the process can be covering over the words because meaning that you've dealt with it, you've processed it, it is what it is. So this week, like I said, there's been some, you know, life has just thrown me some um, curve balls this week, but that's okay. So I am ending the week. I am burying it quite literally below all these beautiful flowers <laughs> and I am ready to start the week fresh ahead. So that's when you journal out um, your thoughts in your head. Like I said, you can be as specific as you want. You can be as detailed as you want, but I know that by the time this session, and I never know where it's going to end up, but I do know that by the time I'm done here, that I will have, you know, that I can look at this page and I, I know what I was telling myself to let it go, to let it go, protect your peace. You know, we often hear, is it really gonna make a difference in you know, a week from now, a month from now, a year from now, or five years from now? If it probably isn't, and chances are it isn't, then just let it go and move on, right? You've got, you've got bigger fish to fry. Your art journal can be a place where, honestly, you play with all different types of mediums of different art tools. It can be, you can take a picture of a page that you've done that you're really happy with and that you wanna share with the world. Maybe you want to sell your art. Um, you know, the beautiful thing as well about the journal is that you can come back to it later on. So today, you know, today is like a session in itself in my journal. And then tomorrow I come back with fresh eyes and I'll continue on from there. Right now I'm ripping up some pretty paper that I love. Make use of the beautiful things that you have. Don't hold on to it. You know what? You bought it for a reason. So all this scrap paper that I bought, oh boy, I love the colors, the designs, and I am going to make use of them. I'm trying to create a little butterfly up here in the corner. We know that the butterfly is a sign of you know transformation of change of growth and that is what this page is about to me today it's about you know growth about moving on you know just not focusing on stuff that really doesn't deserve your time you just move forward so I am just taking a little butterfly putting little butterfly parts together up here and here's the thing as well that you you know what <laughs> you could have a distorted world in here things don't have to be normal shape you know eyeballs don't have to be in a certain place this is pure freedom this does not have to see the light of day if you do not want anybody to see it it is just between you and the page and it's an experiment and this is how you find your style this is how you find what you love
friends for joining me for another weekly vlog. You will start to see more vlogs pop up during the week as well, but definitely check back every single Sunday. And I wanna do more vlogs because I do a lot of art. I do basically art daily. So I enjoy sharing that journey with you guys and hopefully motivating you guys as well to know that you're not alone and there's somebody out there as well doing art with you. And yeah, just eating it all up. Make it a beautiful day. Let go of anything that uh, doesn't bring you joy. And let's move on to that fresh week ahead. So many possibilities.